night of March 5th, 1770, in Boston, that started it all. There were around a hundred colonists talking to the Red Coat. Oh, wait, that was a different Boston massacre. They, they weren't just talking to the Red Coats. They were screaming, arguing, and fighting. Yeah! 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 You guys can't yeah! just go in here with your Red Coats and fancy weapons and take our jobs. Yeah! yeah! We have to provide our families, too! Yeah! yeah! You guys are nothing but lousy lobsters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lousy got lobsters. hit by the gun. Dude, are you okay? <laughs> Get we out of here! Shoot! Shoot! Get out of here! We don't yeah. need you. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here! Okay. Come on! Yeah, yeah. 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 go home! Yeah, we need to go back to Get out! Get out! Get out! Go! Ah! What is going on? I hate Americans. Losers. With their cheeseburgers and apple pie. Well, we could hey be having tea and crumpets right now. Hugh Montgomery took the first shot. We want hold you fire! Captain, did you say fire? No, don't shoot! Did you say don't shoot or don't not not shoot? Which would mean I should shoot? No, hold you fire! Fire? Okay, doesn't seem like a good idea though. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone stop! Okay, keep on going, keep on going. Oh, right. When it was all over, five were dead. Chris Addicts and Samuel Mar Marvick die instantly, along with James Cardwell, Patrick Carr, and Samuel Sammy Gray. Was I supposed to die? Yes. You you red coats, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an engraving. Pat Revere and Samuel Adams were just enjoying a cup of tea that cost them too much money. They really realized they had to put a stop to all this overpriced tea. We have to put a stop to this. Yes, but how? I will go to everybody's house and tell them about the Boston Tea Party. And I will try to find a way to get on the boat, but after I get some wood for the fire. So Pat Revere went to everyone's house to ask if they wanted to join the Boston Tea Party. Sammy Adams was trying to figure out how to get onto the boat with the tea. He was on his way to pick up some wood for a fire, and he saw some red ochre. He picked it up, and his hand turned brown. Whoa. Do you have any more of this? Yes, we do have the rest of the other. Huzzah, yeah. yes sir. Sammy Adams and Pat Revere met back at the house and discussed what they figured out. I got some recruits. Yes, let's get rid of tea taxes once and for all. Okay, here's the plan. We'll all dress up as Indians and then get onto the ship. They won't know we did it. They'll think it was the Indians. Huzzah! This is going to be great. We will make history! Huzzah! Wait, it's freezing. Let's have some hot chocolate first. Yes, I agree. My feet are as cold as the bottom of the icy river. Sure, I'll drink anything as long as it's not British tea. Yes! yes. Let's, Let's go, go to, to the, the ship. ship! To the Woo! river! Alright, let's write this Declaration of Independence. Ew. 
you. Gross. Who likes running for fun? Me. Yay! I'll start running after lunch. Let's go get him. Uh, oh, hi. Let's go. I'm going home. You know what, John? I think I'm ready to write this. Alright, good. Because I brought this. Thomas? Tom, you done in there? Thomas? Tom? Thomas? Tom? Tom, you done in there? Cool. Don't kill. No, no gun kill. No, no knife, knife kill. kill. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. oh. Nice. Tom. Tom. It was a dark and rainy night of August. No, it was warm and sunny. And a battle was brewing. Georgia Washington needed a plan. Or a miracle. I'm glad there are no redcoats here to ruin this perfect day. Yeah, nothing can ruin a day like this. Until... Dun dun dun... Shut up, Harold. Meanwhile, redcoats swarmed the area hunting the colonists, waiting for their next move. While the redcoats were, wa were watching over them like a hawk, the, the colonists had no idea what was awaiting them. They were just relaxing in the, the summer, summer heat. heat. I wonder where the British are at. Probably just being lazy, unlike us, we have to work. Ugh. Shush, I, quiet, I think I hear something. The British are coming! The British are coming! OMG TVAC! That stands for, oh my god, the British are coming. OMG TVAH! That stands for, oh my god, the British are here. Teenager language, am I right? Totally. The British are here, everybody retreat! And so they did it. They retreated all the way to Manhattan by boat. Georgia Washington's brilliant retreat saved thousands of soldiers, and even though the Redcoats had won this battle, there were many more victories for the colonists. <laughs> by the British. What? Uh, yeah. Uh, what should we do? I have an idea. Let's build a big tower. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. Wait, I have it. Let's build some trenches. Yes! in two days time. Wait, I have an idea. How will we just all surround them? But sir, there's no- Shut up! But sir! I said, shut up! Meanwhile, in Yorktown with the British. All right guys, we'll be attacking from the north and the north only. But sir! Shut up, Car LA. No, I'm Cornwallis, the American general. No, I am! And 
that's when the American Revolutionary War ends. It was 1783. The colonists had just won the Revolutionary War, but little did they know that there was a lot more ahead of them. Now that they were an independent country, they had to come up with rules for everyone, and James Madison knew just what to do. Federalists were fighting this idea. They thought that they did not need restricting rules, that the government would take care of all of it. But they didn't, so James Madison took it up himself to write the Bill of Rights. He tried to change the Constitution. He rewarded the Constitution and added 17 amendments. After they ratified all of his amendments, there was 10 left. Some of these need to go. We shall leave 10. Some of these are ridiculous and unneeded. And the Bill of Rights was born. They then added them in the Constitution. Over. Action. That's perfect. Your hair flapping in the wind. And so they did it. They retreated. Wait, I said the wrong. That's okay. Oh my God, dude! I can't hold the phone forever. <laughs> that was a voiceover. You can't shut up. It's alright. Voiceover. That stands for. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. yeah cut. Oh, cut. Oh, Meanwhile, redcoats swarm the area, hunting the colonists, the, waiting for the. Uh, the Waiting for their next move. The uh, red coat, we're watching over him like a hawk. Okay, got it. We, we start watching uh, Meanwhile, the colonists... <laughs> oh, it's sorry, right, just take it, tell her what it is. Meanwhile, the colonists... Meanwhile, the... Meanwhile, the... Meanwhile, red coats swarm the area, hunting the colonists, waiting for their next move. Okay. And I say the colonists were hunting yeah. over them like a hawk. Red coats were watching over we're them like Red coats. Red coats only. Wait. I wonder where the British are at. Probably just being lazy, unlike us, because we have to work. Uh, quiet! I think I think I hear something. Nick, I say the British. Uh, no, let them come over.